This video takes a look at the measurement systems analysis techniques in the SBC for Excel software. If you're interested in just one operator measuring one part multiple times to look just at the measurement system itself, you have the EMP consistency study or type 1 gauge study. If you're interested in beginning to understand how the variation in the process has an impact, you can use one operator measuring, measuring multiple parts multiple times. And you can use a short EMP study or the linearity and bias study. Or you can be interested in knowing what the impact operators have in addition to the process and the measurement system. And we have four techniques for that. Basic EMP study, the cross to Nova gauge r and r and the cross designed being analyzed using the average and range method, and of course the attribute gauge r and r analysis. And for destructive test, we had the nested ANOVA design. And finally, you can compare instruments using our equivalency of, inst equivalency of instruments technique. And to show how these techniques work, we're going to take a look at a crossed design using the ANOVA gauge r and r. So to uh, get to the ANOVA gauge r and r, you start from the SPC for Excel ribbon, and you come across to the analysis panel, and you select MSA. And then we're going to select crossed ANOVA, and they're going to have we're going to have three operators, ten parts, three trials. We can randomize the runs if we would like. Go ahead and select OK. And it's going to want to know if we want to enter the operator's names or if we just want them operator one, operator two. We'll enter the operator names. I'm just going to enter them as A. B and C. And when we do this, we get a worksheet inserted to our workbook where we're going to record the results of, of our gauge R&R study. I've gone ahead and entered the results from the analysis from our various runs. Operator A ran part 1 for the first time and got a result of 0 0.29. Ran part 2, got a result of minus 0 0.56. So you enter the results from the gauge R&R runs into this column here. And up here we have some information that you can enter about the ANOVA gauge R&R study. We have the name of the study if you want to put it in. The thing about these, these terms here, they're all optional. And you can put a cursor over it and you get a comment telling you what it's, what it's about and if it's optional or not. We have the date, the gauge, process, characteristic, process sigma. Now that's an historical standard deviation from your process. I'm going to enter that value for us. We're going to use 2.5. And then we have specifications if we want to find out how the measurement system performs against the specifications. I'm going to enter 3 and minus 3. And then we're ready to analyze the results and run the analysis. To do that, you go back to the SPC for Excel uh, ribbon, come across to MSA again, and it comes up. And now you see you have your, your options. You have some charts you can add. Run chart by part, scatter plots, error charts, run chart by operator, whisker charts, x, y. You also have your signal multiplier. Six is the default. The alpha to remove the interaction term, 0 0.05 is the default. And then you can either have a detailed report or a summary report. We're going to run a detailed report. We're going to select OK. And there's a worksheet put in with the results from the analysis. This is the gauge r and &R ANOVA detailed report. I'm not going to go through it in, in a lot of detail, but I'll show some of the highlights and we'll show you where you can get some detailed information on this output. But you'll get an ANOVA table with that includes the interaction, and then you'll also get an ANOVA table without the interaction if it's not, if it's not significant. And then we get down into getting our percent gauge r and &R. This is based on the variance. 1.46% in this case. And then you also get the percent based on standard deviations. So you can take a look at the study variation as well as the percent tolerance. You will get then the variance components chart, which looks at the percent contribution, percent study variation, and the percent tolerance. And you'll also get your operator and part con uh, control charts as well as the charts for bias and repeatability. But this is the output from the, from the detailed report for the ANOVA gauge r and &R. And again, we're going to give you a, a place where you can go look for that and download it and get a lot more information. There are two options for accessing the online SPC for Excel help to get you more information about how to use these techniques, or particularly in this case, how to interpret the techniques and the results 
that you get from the analysis. One comes from the help button that you see on the forms. Many of our forms have a help button here, and this is the Agneva Gauge r and &R setup. You have a help button here, and what this does, it takes you to the web page with the help for that topic. And here's the Anova Gauge r and &R help. And all MSA techniques have links to download example data files from the help pages. So at this link, you can download the data that's used and actually try and run it. And most have PDF files to, allow, to download to explain the results in detail. And here's an example of that. So you have an, uh, the Gauge r and &R report that we just had. This is the output. And over here is a description of the output so you can see exactly what the report means. And then the other option is you can go to the, uh, select the SPC help from the, S from the help menu in the SPC for Excel ribbon, and that takes you to the home page for SPC for Excel help, which lists the links for all the help pages uh, in the same order as they are on the SPC for Excel ribbon. So the help pages will help you further understand how to use the technique and how to interpret the results from the technique.